This is going to be my top 10 favorite Christmas movies. And they're in no particular order whatsoever. And the first two I'm going to start with, so, I know, Christmas yeah. with the Cranks. I love that movie. It's so unconventional as far as a Christmas movie goes. And it's hilarious. And Tim Allen's awesome. Um, and so is... Jamie Lee Curtis, she's also incredible. It's just a really good movie. Uh, also, and I don't know if this can, can be considered a movie, because it's on TV, but I'm considering it a movie. Uh, I'm also going to talk about it later in a different video, or maybe I already have, because this is pre-filmed. Um, the Brady Bunch Christmas special, the Christmas reunion. I love that. That's probably number one on this list and these the rest of this is no order obviously I've already said that but that's probably number one and I finally got it on tape last year and my brother borrowed it and then lost it so I gotta do it again this year but anyway let's get into the movies I actually possess. the first one is Santa Claus is coming to town and it's the old um, Broadway video presents version with the like claymation this is horrible you can't see this and it's all backwards whatever it's so adorable and cute, and this is the tale of Santa Claus that I love the best. There's so many different stories of Santa, and that's my Also, favorite. from the same little spiel of movies, is the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer one. Wow, you can't see shit, can you? That's sort of better. Um, again, favorite story of Rudolph. I know there's a bunch, but it's so cute, and these are just so, these are classics. You cannot go wrong with these Christmas classic series things, movies. These are the best. Now this DVD has four movies on it, but I only I bought it for the one down here in the corner, which is called Silent Night, and it's got um, the woman from the Terminator movies. I don't know her name. I don't know her real name. Linda Hamilton says it right there. Um, <clears throat> this movie is about... Christmas during like World War Two or World War One. I. I think it's World War One. I. I don't remember. Um, I just like to read the back of it. Christmas in ninety four. I'm sorry. Christmas of forty four. So, whichever um, World War that was. Basically, her and her son, who I I don't know him. I don't know what his name is or anything. But they live in this cabin in the middle of Germany, and it's set in Germany. And, um, all these American soldiers show up and they invite them into their home. And the American soldiers are also nice. But then all these German soldiers show up too. And, uh, they try to coexist. And the German soldiers are not trusting of the American soldiers or of the woman and her child. And by the end of the movie, it's so heartfelt and incredible that these two opposing sides come together that I just love it. A Christmas Carol, the one with Tori Spelling. This was, I believe, made for TV. And it's just like any other Christmas Carol movie. You have, you know, the, the Scrooge and then the ghosts and everything. But I like Tori Spelling and um, that's basically why I like this. Because it's the same story as all the other stories, but I like Tori Spelling. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I really don't think and this needs an explanation. If you haven't seen it, where the hell have you been in the last, like, 20 years? Go watch it. It's hilarious. The scene with the cat is my favorite, and I think it's everybody else who's ever seen this it. This one isn't really a movie either, um, but it's, and it's, t you can't see crap. Anyway, you know the Disney short stories. Um, there's three of them on here. The small one, Pluto's Christmas Tree, and Mickey's Christmas Carol. Um, and Mickey's Christmas Carol and Pluto's Christmas Tree are my favorite on here. I used to watch them when I was little on TV. Then I found this DVD like four years ago at Walmart or something. And I had to buy it because it's my favorite little snippets of Christmas joy from Disney. And they're so, like, iconic. I love them. Jack Frost with Michael Keaton is so heart-touching. It makes me cry every time I watch it. I love that he's this, you know, he's... If you haven't seen it, basically Michael Keaton plays the father that dies and then comes back as a snowman. I mean, there's a lot more to it than that, but that's your gist. And the little boy always reminds me of that little boy in the Campbell's Soup commercials every holidays where he comes in as a snowman and sits down and eats the soup and melts. That's like my favorite Christmas commercial. <laughs> and last but not least is the Santa Claus with Tim Allen, um, the first one. And you can tell how long I've had some of these since these, I mean, it's, it's a VHS tape, um, but... Just, in my eyes, total classic. I love, it's hilarious, and I love Bernard. He's, like, my favorite, and it's just, 
And they're just, just good movies. So go watch any of these movies. And tell me your favorite Christmas movies because I want to see them. So tell me what they are. I'll go look them up and I'll watch them. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.